Breaking. A non government killed two soldiers in Enugu. The news in details. Guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your sister, your friend, your auntie, your mommy, whichever you call me. I am dear. Reality show on ground. We are back here again to give you reality of things happening around you and around the globe. So, guys, as you obviously know, in Nigeria, it has been booze boys or boys boys, whichever either, either way. Guys, things has been happening the way that people have started, you know, talking again. It looks as if the tension is really, really increasing again. But for all this tension to come, the government in power has no solution over it. Instead, they are the one foiling the whole or foiling the whole situation to be tensed. They think they can use a gun and the other rest of them to calm the situation. It is what only dialogue can do. Or simply divide the country, let everybody go its own way. The tension is getting high on daily basis. So, guys, this leads us to the news on ground that is talking about the two soldiers in Enugu that was killed by unknown gunmen. Let's get into the news to get the details of how it all happened. Let's go there. Some unknown gunmen have killed two soldiers of Nigerian army in Enugu state. The troops were killed on Tuesday at Adane community of Uzo Wan, a local government area of the state as they try to repair Eastern Security Network, <laughs> ESN. Attack Director, Army Public Relations Brigade, Brigadier General Onyema Mwachuku confirmed this in the statement. <laughs> Part of the statement read, Sadly, during the firefight which ensued, two soldiers paid the supreme price. The troops are currently on the trail of the criminals. Mwachuku urged the public to provide useful information on the fleeing government to the, to the forces. We ensure that the general public of our commitment to provide adequate security in the general area in collaboration with other security agencies. We also urge the members of the public to Complement the effort of the security agencies by remaining law abiding and provide useful information on the fleeing government, the statement added. And the statement reads in conclusion Guys, unknown government, why would these people be tagging ESN unknown government? They have been told time with that number that unknown government are in the bush. Unknown government, they are in the bush. Yet, people insist in saying Nigerian government and its agencies, security agencies, insist in saying that the unknown government and are the ESN. ESN has no business with that road work. They are in the bush. Guys, have you noticed that since ESN started operation, the menace of full enhancement has drastically, in fact, has drastically stopped. Have you noticed that? So ESN is at work. They are all working in the, in what? In the bush. They are all in the bush. They should stop all this menace they are doing. This is very, very bad. And then, don't be surprised that this is my own, you know, analysis for now. Don't be surprised that it is this armies and police and all the rest of that is organizing this unknown government of a thing. Because of the fact that they just want to see that South is, is still operating on civil unrest. What concern IPOP with uh, unknown government? Why don't they look for unknown government? They will go to another country to arrest our leader. 
but they will not go and trace this unknown government. Probably this unknown government will also be associated with them. But they may not like to say it as a truth. That is very, very bad. Guys, these people are up to something. They can go any length. They can go any extent. They can do anything just to make sure that they tarnish the image of IPOB. But it's not going to work for them. It's not going to work. Okay. ESN came out on the road and starts, you know, laying ambush on them. Is it possible? Is it possible? Guys, these people, they are set of, they, they are just paternal liars. When I mean paternal liars, they are. Anyway, I know people are really, really reacting. Let us hear the reactions of people before you make your own conclusion or your own comment. You need to hear from others. This person said, Nigeria army just talk to them the language they should understand. Let them go and talk now. What are they waiting for? Another person is saying, they are unknown gunmen when security personnel were attacked and killed. They, they will become unknown gunmen. Another person is saying, Wachuku, we really have some a full level in Igbo land. That is true. Another person is, is saying that the terrorists should be killed. <laughs> UGM, our heroes, you are entitled to your own opinion. This person is saying, may Elohim be praised. Another person is saying, many more coming. Another person is saying, then they invite trouble. If they start reading Enugu now, we go say government bad. <laughs> Another person is saying, more is coming and another one is saying good job guys keep it up Buari must go another person is saying two people is is too small by unknown government to key unknown government please next time try key like 50 or 100 even 200 so we can be happy another person is saying this second wave of ugm is going to be deadly meanwhile they are now Aru, <laughs> Aru UGM. <laughs> okay. Reformed unknown government. That's what this person is saying. And that person is saying, unknown government. This is getting seriously ridiculous. Guys, we want to wrap it up here. Unknown government has started their work again. They have strike again in Enugu. And according to them, they said two soldiers already down. Guys, what is your own opinion? Who are these unknown government? What are they doing? What is their aim, objective? And let us meet at the comment section. Let's deliberate on this matter. Please, as you comment, endeavor to comment constructively. I'm going to see you again in the next video. Bye for now.